What's up everyone, MultiApples here bringing you another video and today we'll be playing some NBA 2K20 and I'll be playing um, a WNBA game between my favorite team, the Connecticut Sun and the, Lo the Las Vegas Aces. I'm actually playing against the Sun today though. I actually chose that, uh, the aces by accident. I actually, actually chose to play as the aces by accident. It's been a long time since I played a team game. Well, actually, no, not really, because I have done, like, five on five games before, so. I guess with an official team, not the street ball version. Well, that's just bad defense on my part. So it's, we're losing four to zero, unfortunately. See if we can score with Kelsey Plume, which we did. So we we finally scored. I don't know what I was thinking there. So let's see. Game plan substitution. Let's put in. Hamby is probably a center, so we can put her in for Cambridge. So Nicholson can come in for Jackie Young. Kelsey Plume can come out for uh, Young. Rogers can come in for McBride, and then we can have Prince come in. And that'll be at the next stoppage in play. As Kayla McBride scored. I know all these ladies are talented. If, you, if you're playing in the NBA, you're definitely... WNBA, I mean, you're definitely talented. But... We're going to take a three. And we were fouled. Oh, yeah. We're definitely bad at the... Uh, at. I have to get used to shooting uh, with players other than my player when I play for the ma Magic in the my career mode. Let's call a timeout. Really quick, uh, who has not played on our team? So Carolyn Soares, Jisa Park, and De'Erica Hamby. Taking a look at all the players. So oh, Hamby Park and um Swords. So we, we can make those substitutions. Oh. 
Uh, we're gonna put park in. Uh, we can put in a Kelsey Plume. And then for Rogers, we're gonna put in Hamby. And that's gonna be it. I'm not used to how quickly Kelsey Plume shoots. Oh, that's not good. Still not used to how quickly she shoots. I'm going to lose this game, but at least my favorite team, Connecticut, will win. I'm I promise you I'm not throwing this game. I'm gen genuinely trying to win. If I call them girls, I meant ladies. That's what I meant. I keep thinking that I did, so... But these ladies are definitely talented. And when I was talking about uh, how talented they were. We actually made that? Sweet. Then they made that shot, so it's a timeout by the Aces, by us. So we need to put our starters in. And we, so the, our small forward we can put in... Wilson, Young, who's a shooting guard, we can take her out for Kayla McBride. And we're going to leave Kelsey Plum in. Let's take a look at the game stats. I want to make sure all of the, so every player I've played, uh, every player on the Aces have scored. Ah, shoot, we turned it over. No, don't, don't turn it over. I'm glad we made that shot. I'm going to let y'all listen to game volume, but I will... Uh, Make sure the music is down first. So, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Now, here's Clarendon. Here's Holmes. She's guarded by Plum. Jones outside. Clarendon. Shot clock at six. And she banks in the layup. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. They've been sensational on the boards to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a good word for it, Tim. That's good. You usually have the right word for these kinds of situations. Just tearing it up on the glass. How kind of you, Brian. Here's Holmes. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Right outside, pass to Plum from deep. Ooh, no luck on that one. And that does it for the first quarter. 
The Sun on top. They lead by nine. And the second quarter is on the way when we return. And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And guys, what's your take on the Sun so far? I love the hustle they're showing here in the first. It's showing up on the scoreboard too. A lot of second chance points. And as you said, it's due to their hustle. And the basket by Holmes. Yeah, you rarely see Thomas out of position because she knows her opponent's weaknesses and exploits them in order to collect steals. Here's Coulson. To the left side wing. Here's Young. Offline with a three. Here's Holmes. It's hauled in by the Aces. Young with it. Good, and the assist goes to Liz Cambage. You sit back and enjoy the poise from Young. Maybe not the highest percentage shot with the contact, but she still sinks it. Well, one thing Jackie Young brings to the floor every night is her ability to facilitate the basketball. Her teammates know that if they get open, Young will find them. Now here's McBride. Again, Jackie Young missing. And they continue to control the glass. I think they've been the more physical team, guys, and that's why they're ahead. Usually the more physical, more aggressive team wins the game. Well, tallying up assists sure isn't anything new to Young. Tim, what makes her such an effective distributor? Well, first of all, Blake, she has elite court vision. It helps her scan the floor effectively. She's also unselfish. Her only focus is the team's success in winning the game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. And that one drops for her. Operating with an awesome swagger and confidence, McBride has become must-watch television. Thomas, she's guarded by Wilson. Knocks it loose. And now the Aces on the break. Colson misses. Now here's Clarendon. She has six. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. And Wilson gets it to go. Well, it's a commitment to playing the game the right way that has allowed Wilson to achieve soaring heights at such a young age. Timeout called the Sun. And looking back at the new playoff format installed in 2016, what stands out most to you guys? Yeah, I like how the top eight teams make the postseason regardless of their conference. It's good for the players as they have more of an opportunity to make the cut. And it's great for the fans who now get to see the best eight teams fight for a title. Well, I like how there's now four playoff rounds instead of three and that teams get reseeded after every round. It makes the championship run more worthwhile while for players and teams while fans get more of the action they crave and the reseeding helps reward the top teams for their hard work in the regular season she had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick out the pass and get the assist pass to thomas on the wing courtney williams clock at six Pulls up, high post. Prince grabs the board. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. Bambi right side. Back to Rogers. To the inside. Bambi, shot's good. Nice pass there to set up the bucket. And 10 of their last 12 points have come off assist. Jasmine Thomas into the lane. Doesn't go that time. The aces go the other way with it. Here's Young. That falls a great assist by Sugar Rogers. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Now here's Thomas. Here's Williams. Faked in off the glass. An accurate distributor. Thomas keeps her head on a swivel, and look, if you're open, she'll find you. 
They double Liz Cambage. Young. Again, Las Vegas. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Now here's Thomas. Pass to play Zons. It's Shakina Strickland on the wing. And here's Williams. Tries yet again. That one is off. Good D by De'Erica Hamby. To the paint. Here's Cambage. Nails the baby hook. It's almost like she can sense the buckets. Cambage loves this area of the court. It's where she makes her living. Thomas outside. Down low. Williams can't get it to go. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Prince's shot's good. They're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. Jasmine Thomas into the lane. Here's Thomas. An easy two points on the layup. At the offensive end, she's done as much as they could have hoped for today. Hamby outside. Prince. The shot goes down, and it gets this game back to even. Now Thomas. Both teams will make substitutions. Pass to Jones. Four seconds left, and it's good. Fought through the contact, hit the shot, and she'll go to the line. And she'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. The former WNBA sixth woman of the year, Jones is selfless and accepts whatever role the team needs her to. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Alyssa Thomas has been sensational. Her play in the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right, and uh, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. Thomas, no good. The ace is trailing. Well, some might call McBride her team's vocal and emotional leader as she really knows how to fire up her squad. And her teammates really have no problem rallying behind her. Outside Plum. For the lead. That shot off. And it's... the Sun taking it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Strickland with the bucket. She draws so much attention. Williams can find others for easy buckets. Good dish. Yeah, and speaking of McBride's impact, she just makes those around her better. Yeah, her scoring ability opens up the floor for the rest of her team. Creates good looks for others because of all the attention on her. Well, Jackie Young, she grew up in a small town in Indiana and went on to also play collegiate basketball in state. But after being drafted number one overall by the Aces, she'll be spending lots of time in Las Vegas. And that can be hard for young players sometimes, adjusting to a new scene, a new environment. Now here's Williams. Six on the shot clock, Thomas outside. Puts it up from 12. Rejected by Jackie Young. Oop, there's the 24-second violation, so they'll turn it over.
And after spending much of her life in Indiana, Young now in Las Vegas playing for the Aces. Brian, what's the key to smoothly adapting to a new team, a new city? Well, I would tell young players like Young to embrace the community and engage with fans because that always goes a long way. But at the end of the day, delivering results is what matters, whether it's on or off the court. Now here's Thomas. 14 points for her. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It goes on Asia Wilson. Yeah, with strong mental and physical preparation, Thomas is able to keep her composure and really just do her thing out on the court. No good on the free throw. Well, not many players can do it all, but Alyssa Thomas is one of the few who can. Now, she's the rare player who has finished top five in the WNBA in assists and rebounding. And the layup's good off the glass. And it's pretty hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the stats monitor, there's a stark discrepancy. When you look at the assist column, and you see that difference as far as fluidity in their respective offenses, too. And again, Connecticut no good. Adding to her offensive exploits, Thomas has also finished amongst the league leaders in steals. Yeah, remember, guys, she's been on uh, all defensive teams before. Uh, Thomas is a type of player coaches love because she can help you win multiple different ways. Now here's Thomas. Thomas left side, Jones, that's in there. Alyssa Thomas with the assist. One of the most talented facilitating forwards in the WNBA. Thomas has such a unique skill set. Clock keeps going, three minutes into the second half now. Back to Cambage. Good defensive work by John Quell Jones. Connecticut trailing. Fader on the way. It's hauled in by the Aces. Jackie Young drives in. It's good. With lightning quickness and a great handle, Young can drive at will. And you really can't double her because she's so good at passing the ball. Now here's Clarendon. She's got six. Pass to Holmes. Here's the floater, and she sinks the layup. That's a precision shot. No room for error on the floater. Hey, eyes up, watch her. Don't give her space. Hey! Now here's McBride, guarded closely. They double his Cambage. Three-pointer, Kelsey Plum. Melissa Thomas with the rebound. Yeah, I mean, she has been way off the mark this quarter. It is getting rough. Jones. And it's all evened up. All right, Tim, let me give you a hypothetical. WNBA Martin. Finals, your team is down one, and you get the last shot. Who do you want taking the ball? Well, I think Brianna Stewart is the best option in the world. She's 6'4", which means she can shoot over most defenders, excellent on the dribble to create, has deep range, and she can finish at the hoop. She does it all. Oh, and guess what? She's won a WNBA title. Well, Stewart is certainly a great choice, but I'm going to take Elena Deladon. She's even taller than Stewart at 6'5", and offensively does everything. And look, I'll, I'll let you guys in on a secret. The underrated part of her game is she draws fouls. She could get to the line as well as hit the shot. Clock at two. Here's Holmes. And that misses. That would have put them up. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Back to Young. To the wing on the left. Here's Colson. No good with the triple. Not only is the game neck and neck, but the rebounding battle is too. Very tight game on the boards. Yeah, both teams have put in a terrific effort down low. Now here's Clarendon. Six points for her. Here's Clarendon. 
Pass to Holmes. To the paint, Jones. For the lead, and the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Double team on Asia Wilson. Here's Colson. And it's blocked by Courtney Williams. Well, that's a rare sight. Williams hasn't topped uh, 10 blocks an entire season, but she gets the swat there. Pass to Jones. Las Vegas grabs the miss. She's tried to get it going, but the shots simply haven't been dropping for her. Williams with the steal. That will count. She got it up in time, but it couldn't fall for her. And we have just finished the third quarter and a tight game we've got. The Sun. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. And with the accuracy to go along with that vision, she put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That is how you orchestrate. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. Fourth quarter action getting started. Thomas right side. Thomas outside. Strickland outside. Jones outside. Pass to Williams. Six to shoot. Fires high post. Asia Wilson grabs the board. Well, despite her ineffect. team has found other scoring options. Young shot is off. The Sun leading. Jones with it. And it's Wilson picking her up. Count that one. What a mismatch it's been in the post. I mean, where's the defensive adjustment? They're just getting eaten alive out there. Yeah, I agree. They got to come up with something. A double team. Maybe a sub. This is getting ridiculous. You know, she's a solid foul shooter, just about 70%, and Young will get to the line a little bit as well. The Aces making a switch. Doesn't get the second. Okay, let's take a look here tonight at Asia Wilson. Now, she was the first overall pick for the Aces back in 2018, and, you know, she was actually the first pick ever for this franchise's iteration in Las Vegas. The three from Jasmine Thomas. It's hauled in by Park. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she could try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. And for Wilson, the 2018 Rookie of the Year, she is clearly the future of this team. And you know, Blake, she's not the tallest center in the league. Wilson's only 6'4", but she is as smooth as it gets in the post on both ends of the floor. Great footwork and a fantastic sense of the game. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that, and really that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. And so she makes both from the line. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. Her shot selection hasn't been great tonight. A lot of forced contested shots all game. She'll be lucky if she just gets a talking to here instead of being taken out of the game. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Thomas outside. Pass to Jones. To the inside. Willie.
Williams. The basket good off the assist from Jonquel Jones. You know, she might be 5'8", but Williams has tons of different ways to finish at the hoop. Hard to stop. To the middle. Here's Swords. He can't get it to go. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, without question. They're not settling. Getting inside for eight of their last ten. It's time for this defense to step up and stop these free runs to the rim. It's just too easy. Thomas, right side. To the right side. Here's Jones. Yep, that goes. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of the last ten points have been assisted on. Some great passing. They keep on finding the open teammate. Good ball movement. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. They get it back. They get it back again. How many offensive rebounds have they had? Everything's going right for them today. Hart guarded by Jones. And she uses the glass on the layup. Well, you just can't give her that kind of position in the post. When she gets in that good of a position, it's just so hard to stop her. Now here's Thomas. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Elbow shot on the way. The offensive rebound. And out of bounds, the Aces will take it. And the Aces making a change here. And the Aces call time here. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Alyssa Thomas. Well, she's making like every shot, right? That's what it feels like. She's been unfazed by anything the defense has thrown at her. Such an advantage to this offense to have someone so reliable. Inside, here's Park. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Understanding defense is better than most. McBride's a playmaker with an advanced feel for the game. Young with the steal. Here's Park. She's covered by Thomas. Came close there to tying it up. And after the way they fought back into it here. That would have been a major bucket for him. Yeah, big morale booster. Now here's Thomas. And the foul on Swords. That is their first foul of the game. And Connecticut has possession. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Pass to Jones. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. A great feel for when the team needs a big play. Jones is a timely and dependable scorer. Rejected by Jonquel Jones. They grab their own miss. Olsen. And here is Jones. And Williams gets it to go. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Wilson. Nick Ride. She's covered by Strickland. Shoots from 12. That one a little long. And Connecticut has possession. Six point lead. Here's Williams. Yep, that one goes. Very good possession. They've never lost their focus as this game has gone along. And now that we're moving deeper into the fourth, it's at the point where they add a few more points to the lead and they can put this one away for good. Absolutely. She keeps trying to force it up when she's guarded and she's just getting brick after brick. Here's my suggestion. Move the ball around. Now here's Thomas. That one goes. Count it. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach is. 
And that one misses. 12th pick in the 2011 WNBA draft. Thomas played in her first 204 games before finally missing one. This has been a rough second half for her shooting the ball. She should probably adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Strickland with the bucket. That pass led her so perfectly, she didn't even have to break stride. Here's Colson. Shoots over Thomas. Over to the left wing. Looking to end the run. Not going to go that time. So we see the Sun taking the W here. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. 